The Supreme Court rules on a crucial discrimination case regarding employment. One America's Stefan Kleinhen spoke with the co-chair of a black conservative leadership network who discussed the significance behind the high court's decision. A monumental Supreme Court ruling seemingly got left out of major headlines amid ongoing coverage of the coronavirus. In a rare unanimous decision, justices reversed a lower court ruling as they handed Comcast a win in a long-standing racial discrimination suit. After negotiations between Comcast and black media mogul Byron Allen fell through and the cable giant decided not to carry channels operated by his television network, Allen alleged Comcast discriminated against him because of his race. The co-chairman of a national leadership network for black conservatives, Horace Cooper, told One American News that if the court ruled in Allen's favor, they would have set a very dangerous precedent. That would end up becoming a magic license for anybody, for any reason, anytime they're not happy with a contract coming out the way they want to bring a person into court if they're black or if they're a woman or if they're some other kind of protected category. Cooper says the court's decision benefits both minorities and employers as it ensures that everyone is free to enter into a contract. Even Ruth Bader Ginsburg understood, she's the most liberal member of the Supreme Court, that she understood that America can't operate if it's okay to say every single time that a minority enters into a contract and if the minority doesn't get their way in the contract, they can just turn around and sue. Cooper said if the principle that was unanimously decided in the Comcast case was applied to the context of employment, more employers would be willing to hire minorities. If I can hire a black guy, if I can hire a woman or some other category of protected status and I don't have to worry, if they don't work out, I can fire them. I'll hire more, but if I've got to worry, oh, if they don't work out, they might sue me. I got to be very, very careful. One American News left a message with Mr. Allen's office, but have not yet received a request for comment. Stefan Kleinhens, One American News, Washington. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One American News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One American News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.